Hello, welcome to the Colorful Creativity Podcast. My name is Caroline and this is episode 54. Wow, <laughs> it's been a little bit and um, well, you all know what we've been up to. The whole hospital situation and uh, also the awesome advent calendar came in between. And yeah, well, I can't show you a lot of things, but I can tell you it's all shipped and it's awesome. Um, this episode is going to be all about all the new stuff in my shop. Uh, I will do that in the end. I have a lot of acquisitions I still needed to show you. And of course, some knitting. It is a knitting podcast, isn't it? So, I will dive in with the knitting part. Um, it's not much. I really didn't have the time and energy to knit. So In my keep on knitting kitten bag is my West Knits mystery knit along and since clue 4 already came out I don't think this will be a mystery anymore I've seen a lot of finished objects already and if you don't want to see it because you don't want to see spoilers of course you have to look away now and come back in a few minutes I am still at clue number one here it is. I did do something, but yeah, clue one still. Oh my. Last time I showed it to you, I was about here. I just had five stripes of color one, I think. And now I have blended into color two and finished the whole color two section. And I am now blending into color three. And I'm doing seven pops in between just because you can. And five is just five. I, I was missing an orange and then I thought, well, I want that neon greenish as well. I really, really love it. I love how it looks. I don't love all the ends, but we'll fix that later. So yarn I'm using is... First of all, this one, Shirley Temple on the Rocks, a Merino Singles by Call for Creativity, so my own yarn. Then, second color is Sangria, also one of my own singles from the uh, Happy Hour collection. And the last one is a Trelis yarn, and the colorway is Mandala. And then there's all the Pops. I can show you. These are the sock yarn ones, and this is a um, Color Lover set by Devon Sun Yarns. And there goes my yellow one. The neon one is hand dyed by me. Might still have one in the shop, not sure. And there's this. Bright orange, one of my favorite ones, which is a 100% soft, extra soft merino. And that was just a leftover from my mittens and my exploration station. So I thought, well, leftovers are fine for the color pops. So I'm using that. And yes, it all fits in this little bag, which is amazing. Four skeins of yarn in total and the project itself. I am knitting these on high high sharps, three and a half millimeter, standard for West Knits most of the times. You can see them. They are not interchangeable. They are just normal ones. So yeah, that's been all my knitting. I have been working so hard on the advent calendars. I was one and a half weeks, almost two weeks behind the whole hospital stuff and um, yeah hubby got home hubby is fine already back at work so I can finally record during the day when I want to and of course I got a backlash for myself with my migraines etc it wasn't fun with all the work we had to do winding 540 mini skeins is not something you 
do in an instant. So it took us about 15 hours, I think, for all the minis to be wound, or 60 skeins. I had to dye them in between as well. So oh, I'm so happy it's all done and shipped and on its way to everyone. And for everyone who gets it, I hope you really, really enjoy it. And um, you can keep it closed. Well, you can open box, but you can keep the packages closed until it's December. So, itchy nose. Sorry. Ugh. I think it's because I'm sitting next to the heater and it's drying up my nose or something. So the next segment is already acquisitions because I I did half of it last time and now I am doing the other half and I have to admit there's already new stuff but I will show you that in the next episode because I hope to be back at once every two weeks. So first things first, I have two cute little baggies and in here is a stash from Drie Kleine Schaapjes, Jennifer, which I really, really loved. Um, this is, well, it used to be one skein, but she wound it in two cakes for 50, uh, for, for two at a time, sock knitting. Um, is by Polly Orange, and the colorway is called Hold Me, Hold Me Closer, Tony Danza. If you don't know what that means, Google it. I laughed really hard. It's a 80% superwash merino and a 20% nylon high twist sock yarn, which looks really, really pretty. Nice and colorful. I'm really curious how this will knit up. If it's a self striper or a bit of a variegated. I think it's the latter, but we'll see. It's always difficult to see when it's reskained. And I also got this one. Got two skeins of this one. This is a little boo yarn. And the colorway is called Surfer Dude, which is a superwash merino nylon and sparkle. You know we love sparkle. Yay. So I have two skeins, so I can even make a bigger project. It's really, really nice also to use it for something on your skin. But yeah, I have to think what I want to make. Pushing the air out. Sorry, shouldn't have done that. Could have done it later. So that's the first new stuff in. Then I got my second skein of Handmaiden. Kashba. And this is a 80% merino, 10% nylon, 10% cashmere. Oh, where's the colorway? Amber, that was it. And for those who know, a while back I went to Horn to the Weaver's Mart, so the Weaver's Market. It's a big uh, wool fest in Horn. And I already got the red one. That colorway is called Vermilion. And with these two together, you might see what I'm gonna knit myself. I got this right after Robert came home from the hospital. And yeah, I really felt like Wonder Woman at that time. So I'm thinking this will be a beautiful Wonder Woman wrap. I really need to make one. I really love the idea and it's so soft and these colors are just so terribly me. I haven't cast on yet because, well, if you don't have time to knit, why you don't have time to cast on something new? Not me at least. I really wanted to, but I just couldn't. There was just no time in the day. Oh. Most of the knitting I have been doing the last three days, so you can guess. When I did one stripe a day, that was already a lot. My next new acquisition is something I treated myself to because I felt really, really sorry for myself when Robert was in the hospital. This bag I saw at Fiber Rachel, her label, label is on there. 
She lives in Enschede, actually. But we never met in person. It's kind of time to make up for that. I really love the fabric of this, the knitted, and then the knitting needles on this one, and the yellow inside. Oh my god, it's so pretty. I saw that a while back and was still there when Robert was in the hospital and I was like, now I'm gonna buy it, I'm gonna treat myself to it because I deserve that. And it came the next day, so it was really, really awesome. I love it. I will open it for you so you can see the inside. I already know it's, it's the, the, the sock house bag. She makes her birth ha bird house bags. Here you can see her info. I put focuses. Yes, there it is. Oops. Those are the sizes she does. She has the sock house bag, she has the normal birdhouse bag, and she has the tool house, I think. Um, well, <laughs> this one you already saw, and I'm keeping it in here. Well, it is a sock house, and I really want to cast on these socks. I wanted to do that for Socktober, but Let's just say Socktober is almost over and I'm not ready to knit a pair of socks in three days again. So, yeah. I am really, really happy with it, Rachel. And it just sits on my cabinet there just to look at. It's really pretty just to stand there, look at, totally fine. Another thing I have in there is this one, it's a yuck, and um, well, you know, I dye most of my yarn on Zitron yarn, the soft sock at least, um, and I asked for a sample. I would have wanted it white or any other color, but I got a blue one. <laughs> and the yuck yarn is really, really soft. I am not going to dye on it. It's um, Really, really soft. Really, really freaking expensive. I can tell you that one skein of yuck, hand dyed yuck, should be about 50 euro. And I do not see anyone paying that. Most of the people here already say, oh, Caroline, your hand dyed yarn is so expensive. Well, with this one, I would have a really, really, really expensive yarn. So no, I'm not doing that. I want to have my yarn sellable and not, uh, yeah, freaking expensive. It is really soft and I think if you want a mill dyed yuck, you should buy that. I think it's about half of an indie dyed one. But this blue one is probably gonna be a hat for Robert. I am thinking about a police box. It looks a bit police box blue, so I have to see for a white and a black with it, but that's only 10 grams, so I guess I can get away with just doing some sock yarn in it. I have some softer sock yarns for it. Last, but certainly not least today, I have this really huge project bag. I could fit my head in here and more, as you can see. It is a sock monkey bag, and sweater sized, and it is by my friend Monique, Frog Peak Creations. And I tell you more about her every week or every time I record, if I don't forget it. Sorry, Monique. You can find her online as frogpeakcreations.etsy.com and she has such nice bags in her shop. Really pretty Christmas bags as well at the moment. And of course I have a awesome discount code which is colorful2017 and this will give you 15% off of everything in her shop. So don't be shy and use it. You can use it until the end of the year so it's really generous. And that was not all she sent me, because she sent me 
four skeins of undyed Koigu KPM. Remember when she also sent me a whole range of Koigu and I am planning a uh, find your fade with that, but I needed something to go in between, which I can buy myself to make it a little bit more me. That was not all. She also sent me a sweet feet sock yarn. I think I'll give it to my mom. I did notice this, so I have to probably cut that one out. But these are more colors of my mom than of me. But she can probably make a pair of socks with it that we can uh, sell. And I still have to open that shop because I'm me. I haven't gotten around to do so. So also she sent me this awesome bicycle fabric so I can make a project bag myself with that. I love it. Well, Holland biking really really regularly. So yeah, that's just awesome. Next what was in there and I saved that because I was a good girl to uh, three sachets of David's tea. I'm really curious to try those. Also, there were some stitch markers, I think. The one, one has a hook that I can't explain, but... There, Canadian flag. I don't know what this hook is. The other one is a pretty dragonfly. Oh, other way is prettier. Come on, focus. Yes. And as you can see, these are from Prairie Dye Studio. Handmade in the Canadian prairies. So, really lovely. And that was not all. That was a really, really good girl. I saved it to show it to you. This huge bag of caramel M&Ms. Oh my, I am so curious how this will taste. I know peanut butter are still my favorites, but I'm really, really curious. So. Put it all back. Keep it all nice together because I still have to photograph things for my Etsy stash. Oh my. Yes, I am way behind. So those were the acquisitions. I guess it was enough, right? Put it away before the cats get in it. Then I have a huge box and I see that I put an acquisition in here as well. Oh, here. Now I'm throwing with things again. Well, I guess. I'll have to do without that one then. I also got a Strick Plana 2018. For those of you who don't know this, this is a uh, planner for knitting by Martina Beem uh, from Strick Mich. And in here you have like weeks, just like a normal calendar. But you also have your uh, goals per quarter so you can write down what you want to do um, which uh, day you plan your goals for knitting uh, lots of lists and um, even the yarn trade lists I have a German version because I don't mind I did not get the stickers I think I still have to buy them because I really like the look of them and I'm sorry I didn't get them. I thought they might be included. There's lots of space for notes and design work. And with all the events that are coming... Ooh, there's even a dotted section. I love dotted paper. So yeah, I really like it. I still have to start using it, but it starts January, so I have still got time. But with all the events we're planning for next year, there's like Das Bunte Schaf, 
I booked my retreat seat in Cardiff for next year, October. And if all goes well, I'll be taking some yarn. Um, we'll have to see if I get into the market. There's only 10 spots, I think. And taking my yarn would be pretty expensive because I need to get a big suitcase and pay for it. But we'll see if it works, it works. So yeah, that's already two events. And I think I had something in April planned as well. Um, but I forgot what that exactly was. Ugh. Well, let me take a sip of tea. Maybe it comes back. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> I am planning on doing a mindfulness retreat with a friend together. And I will be teaching some knitting and crochet and mindful crochet and mindful knitting. Just for people to relax and learn to do something with their hands instead of something like smoking or eating or biting their nails. Um, and taking the time off and having to focus on their knitting or crochet. So also planning on that, so I really need a good planner. And of course I like to plan my knitting as well. And I also like to show you new stuff. So the biggest new stuff probably is my yarn label with my new logo. Here you go. There's that kitty. And Colorful Creativity by Kalani. And there's the kitty inspiration. Yay! Hi, thanks. No, you don't fit on here. I've got a box here. And, well, I think I already told you, my minis are now called Colorful Kittens. Just because I like to name better. So it stands out more. And, uh, yeah, they're not just minis. They're Colorful Kittens. So, that's that. I also had my new stitch marker card but that's the thing i dropped so you have to do without that you can look on my instagram i am kralalin there and um, i showed it in a photo a little bit back something else i've been trying out is new bases this is a cashmere merino cashmere nylon sock base and i'm not sure yet i want to knit it First, it feels a bit cotton-like. Totally not the usual cashmere. It is soft, but it's not as soft as that cashmere yarn. This is like amazingly soft. And that yuck, well, that's even a step further soft. This is just roll me in a puddle and I'm, mol I'm, I'm molten in a puddle when I feel that. I'm like, ugh. I have the same with this. But this just feels like cotton. So I'm not sure if that is going to be something I'm going to do regularly this base. I might just dye up the one batch I got. I got like 10 skeins and do it as a special edition and sell it out. So that is stuff I've been doing next to some advent calendar and then there's a whole lot of stuff in this box yes i want to show you because it's all brand new it all came in during the past month so i really wasn't ready for a shop update but i will do that very 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 soon i hope actually that the shop update will be live when this podcast goes live so yeah I am putting on my knitter's keep bracelet with one hand. It's a bit difficult, but I have it now. This way around. I don't have those in stock, but if someone wants one, I can totally get them. They're a bit expensive to have in the shop and not sell. Um, but the new addition is the row counter. And as you can see, it clicks very good on the magnet. And it's a very, very easy row counter. You just click it. Click it, click it, click it, click it, click it. So now it's 11. And then you can just 
turn the wheel back to zero. Go back to zero, my friend. No. Other way, it's better. It has little magnifying thingies on the number so you can read it better. And if you want to put it in your bag, you can just lock it here so it doesn't click anymore. It comes in this cute little box, like almost everything from Coconuts. And there's even a little baggie you can put it in. And you can put it in your project bag like that. I really like that. It's all so well thought. So yeah, let me just put it back. That's how you will get it. So put this one off again, because I don't need it. Um, something else that is from Coconuts, which of course I had to have because it had one word on it that was so well fitting. Colorful stitch stoppers. At first they came in separate bags. It was like uh, one small size and one large size and now it's all in one bag so you get all of them for all your needles in one go you don't have to buy two separate things anymore they are uh, in my etsy shop i didn't even, i don't think i even set my etsy shop scralaline.etsy.com or colorfulcreativity.nl next something i've been wanting for so so long I have wrist rulers. Yay! I have them in white, black, and yellow. And these are silicone, so they are vegan friendly for everyone who doesn't like the letter. And I will open one for you and show it to you. This is how they look. They have like these cute thingies so you can close them with the holes and you have inches and centimeters and they do have a bit of stretch so do keep in mind don't stretch them out too far because that will uh, make them not really uh, measuring what you want I really really love mine I have a yellow one and I didn't want to spoil the fun and the surprise that I had them by so I didn't wear them. And next, because I'm not there yet, is a brand new fiber and yarn uh, knitwear wash. This is unicorn fiber. A unicorn, uh, this is the whole unicorn baby line, the Beyond. It doesn't have a fragrance. I have Beyond Fiber Wash, which is a uh, very, very rough, uh, good wash. There is this one, it's Beyond Clean. Well, probably this is the one, sorry. This is the one for really, really badly stained stuff, Beyond Clean. Beyond Fiber Wash is strong enough for rough and tumble fabrics and knit yet very gentle it's for uh, the most delicate hand knit creations and then there's this one beyond soft this is an anti-static conditioner for fabrics and knitwear and this stuff is really good for just blocking your knit knitting and stuff not really you can also wash it with it and these are the fragranced ones fiber wash and fiber rinse. Fiber rinse is really good for just your knitting, um, blocking it, etc. And I, I would always wash it with this one. This one is for the stuff that gets a bit more dirty. It really deep cleans. This just refreshes. So maybe a sweater where you really sweat in. Or if uh, you got a stain of baby puke in uh, your stuff then this is the stuff you want. 
There's also the Unicorn uh, Power Score, but I didn't get that. That's for real, uh, yeah, it says for soil stains and odors, but this is already doing a lot. Um, the Power Score is also for your dirty fiber fleeces that you get from the sheep immediately. You can use Power Score to wash that. I didn't get that. Uh, if anyone is interested in it, I could get it, of course. I just started with these five different ones. So, and these are all 118 milliliter bottles. 111, sorry, four ounces. I'm really pleased with it. It has a unicorn on it. So, yeah. <laughs> and the last thing. If you saw my London recap last year, you already know I'm really, really enthusiastic about this stuff. Love and let you anywhere bomb. Let me put it straight. And this is the lavender mint version, but I also have a lemongrass version. Are you gonna focus? Yes. So mint and lavender, and then there's also citrus rose. They are really, really awesome. They smell so, so nice. And they're good for everything. So for lips, for elbows, for your fingers, when they are a bit rough on the edges and you catch on your knitting, I thought it was time to get some really, really nice accessories because Christmas is coming and everyone wants to buy little gifts, etc. And I thought this would be great in my shop as an addition. Um, yeah, I just love those special little extras that are not too expensive. Well, some things are. <laughs> that row counter is not cheap, I can tell you, but it is really, really high quality. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm madly in love with that stuff and I want to buy it for myself then and I think, well, I can just buy a little bit extra and have some for the shop. So I really, really hope you like it and go check out my Etsy shop. And I guess with that I will, I'm, I'm at a personal talk because I'm pretty sure some of you want to know how my husband is doing. He's fine. He came home the Tuesday after the Sunday I recorded the last podcast. He was still very sick. Um, antibi antibiotics, etc. And um, what he had in the end was erysipelas. I'm totally not sure. I think, well, that's probably the medical name. I'm not sure if you know it in English. In Dutch it's called Wondroos. Uh, because he doesn't have his lymph nodes, he can just get it out of the blue in his leg from just a mosquito bite. It's like horror. Something we have to think about the rest of our lives and something we want to forget for the rest of our lives. But yeah, it is what it is. It can always happen. And, and well, it happened now. Nothing we can do about it. We went to the doctor for the checkup in the hospital last week. He's fine. He's healthy. He's discharged fully from that doctor. He doesn't have to see him again. And done. Doctor also said, next time you'll probably do exactly the same. Fine. We will. Thank you. I probably won't be that panicky. I certainly do hope I'm not that panicky. And uh, we will just sit it out and take it as it is. And I guess that's just all about my husband that dares to say. This little mister is doing fine as well. He finally settles on my lap now. Of course, when I'm ready, recording. Um, not much else to say, I guess. I will be uh, doing a troll beats demonstration next Saturday, the 4th of November. For anyone near Enschede, if you want to check it out. I uh, will be at Juwelier Gruiters. Uh, it's in the city center of Enschede. 
if you don't know where it is, put me a note and I'll tell you. I will show all of you guys how to do uh, troll beads. I'm really, really excited to do that. It's my first time I'm going to do one at a jewelry store. Um, I may not sound that excited, but yeah, I am looking forward to it. I'm a bit nervous too, because it's on a Saturday afternoon and that's the busiest moment of the week in, in the city center. I have no clue how I'm going to get all my stuff from the car to that store, because it is quite a walk. We did buy a, a cart for it. Uh, which also came in very handy to drop off all the awesome advent calendar packages. We didn't even get to fit all those packages in one go in the car, which I had actually expected, but it didn't fit. <laughs> it was really, really funny. And um, yeah, well, we'll see how it goes. I'm pretty sure I, I can just sit there for three hours and make beads and have fun. But yeah, maybe I will see some of you. I hope so. And further, yeah, the, the advent calendar was a lot of fun. Uh, Petra was here, I can blend in a photo of the whole wall we had built of all the boxes. It went really smoothly and really quickly. We had it done in the same time as we didn't get done last year. Um, <laughs> two days, it was all packed and ready to go. Of course, we had a week before it. But we worked really, really hard. I was pretty lucky that Robert only worked part-time that week because he was getting back into work. And I was pretty tired still and on his meds. But he did want to go to work for a few hours. Then he got, got to sleep and then he got to work for me. Yeah, well, he only had to sit down and push the button to wind the minis. I do the standing up, the uh, tying up, etc. But still, it was rather funny. We had an awesome time with Petra and Marnix and yeah, it's just a shame it's already over. Not the work part, but the fun part, of course. And uh, yeah, you can look forward to an, a very, very awesome Christmas special again. Yay, we recorded that with the big wall of boxes as a backdrop. So, I guess with that I am leaving you. I'm going to put aside this cute little mister on my lap and, well, if you have any questions, ask me in the Ravelry group. In the group section on Ravelry you can find me as the Colorful Creativity group. Um, I am not putting up show notes because, well, it just takes too much time and I don't think anyone looks at it so I haven't heard anyone asking for it. I will put all the interesting links in the YouTube description box and in the referee group so you can find it all over there. So thanks everyone! Also a bye from Binks. <laughs> bye bye! See you next time!